Welcome back to E-Color with Claudia. You know, it's summertime, and I'm thinking, well, if you live in the North, picnics, parties, 4th of July celebration, well, there's nothing better than the very simple Italian potato salad. No mayo, no long list of ingredients, just simple, healthy, and delicious. We need about a half a pound of fresh green beans, a pound of red new potatoes. This is about seven of them. Just a little bit of red onion and some basil, and then just some staples of white wine vinegar, um, extra virgin olive oil, salt and pepper, and that's it. We're gonna begin by washing your potatoes really well. Keep the skin on, we're gonna peel them later. Fill a pot with some cold water and place all your potatoes in there. Once we get the potatoes in here, we're gonna crank our temperature up to high. We're gonna get the water to boil. Then we're gonna lower it and we're gonna simmer it, cover it, and let it, let it just lightly boil in here for 20 minutes. Now we don't want our potatoes to be mushy. We want them to just be like tender. Fill your water about one to two inches above the potatoes. Now, if you have some significantly smaller potatoes in there, keep an eye on them because they might cook faster than, than the big guys in there. In another pot, we're going to boil our green beans. So put a little bit of water in your pot, a little bit of salt, and let's get this to a boil. And while we are waiting, let's prep these green beans. Now wash your green beans really well. You know, it's so weird. Up in the north, we used to always call these string beans, but I guess living here in Texas, I say green beans all the time. Snap the edges off and you can just snap them with your fingers or use a paring knife. And that's what we'll do, just snip, snip. Okay, woo, we got a rolling boil here for our green beans. And now I'm gonna go ahead and slide these in. And, woo, and we're gonna let them boil in here for six to eight minutes. And it's always a good idea to throw some extra green beans in here so you can taste them as they cook because again, we don't want to overcook them or undercook them, just cook them to your liking. Oh, timing is perfect. My potatoes are boiling. I'm gonna lower these. 20 minutes, I'm gonna cook them. So while everybody's boiling, I'm gonna just dice up a little bit of red onion. Oh, let me taste this. It's been eight minutes. Mm. They're not quenchy, they're tender, they're perfect. I'm gonna drain these and put cold water on there to keep them from cooking. Now slice your green beans up into one inch or one and a half inch pieces, depending like on how long your green bean is. And I like to just cut them on the, on the diagonal. So my potatoes, they, they're ready and fork tender. Again, we don't want them mushy. Now, your potatoes are very prone to injury because they're, they're soft. So we wanna like carefully take them out and I like to use like a slotted spoon and let them drain and cool off for, oh, I'd say for about five minutes. We're waiting because these potatoes are hot and we wanna peel the skin off the potatoes, not our fingers. Okay, here we go. You wanna peel the skin off the potatoes carefully, just like this. Okay, now I'm smelling these potatoes. I'm getting hungry. You know, you don't need a party to have these, this potato salad. You can eat this potato salad any day of the week for a side dish or a meal. Now we're gonna cut our potatoes into like quarter pieces or bite-sized pieces. Gently lay your potatoes in the bowl with your green beans. The basil, it smells so good. All right, so I got a few leaves. And so what I like to do is you kind of like line them up here, one on top of the other. I just kind of roll them, kind of so. My, my leaves are so small, but if you have bigger leaves, it works a little bit better. And now just put, slice them in just little slices, just like this. The diced onions. Let's sprinkle, I, got, I just did a third of a cup and just whoo, packed them in there, just sprinkle them. Now we wanna gently 
toss the three ingredients together. I like to use a slider spoon and we'll just be very gentle, just toss a few times. You can add grape tomatoes. It'll be beautiful in here and obviously delicious and more nutrients, but you know what? I'm keeping this basically authentic Italian. Now I'm adding three tablespoons of extra virgin olive oil, one tablespoon of white wine vinegar, some black pepper, a little bit of salt, and our basil. So I'm gonna give this one more little toss. Now, you like to eat this room temperature or warm. I mean, you can eat it cold, of course, but it's how people do like to eat this dish. And there you have it. How simple was this? And y'all, it tastes delicious. Mm, so good. Y'all have a fabulous weekend. Subscribe, share this recipe, and bon appetit.